In the previous videos I show you how you can use the templates uh, to find you know what you're looking for in the rules but it might be the case that no a single temple fits you what you want to look for and you want to individually go and search for your rule right so we're going to use any any of my 135 rules in here and for that you use the powerful filters on the left so when you click here on find filter uh, there are so very many filters that you can actually search for one in here for example if we want to look for the one that we see there down there creation date so you type here creation date and notice that this is it's actually not not uh, case sensitive but you find that uh, filter right there right uh, and but you can also look for the rules so or we're going to be playing with this rule devices with high event rates so if I put here devices with high uh, event rate and I type apply filter it's going to go and find only that rule right if we clear that condition and apply the filter we go back to the 835 that we had before now these are, are rules only because notice that in here the radio button for rules is selected if I uh, click on the building blocks and I apply that filter I get how many 462 uh, building blocks pretty good so if I even remove this one I should get both the 835 plus 462 that should be 12,097 if I'm not mistaken so if I remove that I should have all of them here right now let's actually stick to the rules only and continue exploring the filters. So most of these are self-explanatory. We just, I mean, this is a radio button, whether the rule is enabled or disabled. We saw that one, whether the type it works on flows or events or offenses or both. Uh, the origin, the category and you can read you know the details of it i'm going to highlight just the ones that are uh, in i think interesting this on action you know and by the way these things are also columns that you find in here for example rule action you can select that and that's going to be part of your columns when you see those things in here so pretty pretty good detail in there right in the type of response what does the rule does dispatch a new event and an email you know and, and you have the other conditions right here creation day and modification day is a lot easier to find well when is it that I modify the rule is between this date and that date and you can go there by notes it's actually very encouraging that, that people use notes so as you see all the rules when you look at the details of the rule you get that information here the, the rule is disabled and here let's say that I, I'm going to copy this text put on the clipboard notice in here that also the rules specify whether they work on their local system right uh, that it, it's a important part of the rule whether this is you know working on all your uh, even processor or whether it's global or local so you got that there but if I'm looking for this for a rule that contain this text in here let me actually close this and if out of all the rules I put here that condition apply the filter and I should find only that rule unless another rule has that te that same text which is not in this case okay so we can clear that and continue exploring the filters uh, you can look in the test definition let's say that uh, let's go back to that particular rule and we want to look for you know you know part of this uh, of this particular rule so let's say that we are looking for that condition so we paste that one in here and that should find that 
rule and any other that has that only this one has it there so let's continue on log sources type you have all the log sources type in here now and you'll see that this this uh, gain relevance with another filters that I'm going to show you uh, there here on the log sources because they can be so very many even in my demo system I have 247 you have in this uh, filter group you have uh, a section in which you can actually search let's say I'm searching for everything that is uh, what uh, ACS right so you you you, you find those right there so you can easily find it by that uh, context right now on domains if you are working with multiple domains you will have in here it will show up all the domains so you can search rules that are specific to a particular uh, domain right now, I other tests that you you have in here, well, you can test whether, you know, and, and when the nice thing is that when you hover, it shows you the, the type of condition that, that you are including, the test condition that you are included in your rules. And by the way, in case that you aren't familiar, these are the test conditions, the one after that. this apply, you can have multiple in here and everyone gets evaluated when all of them gives uh, true then th that rule uh, fires now there are two filters that are very interesting that I want to mention but before that let me complete this with the constant content extension these are the apps that exist in the app exchange and the ex uh, app exchange name so notice that I have 37 in here and you have a bunch of categories for those applications, right? But this filter is one of the two that are very remarkable. This one is say, well, let's say I'm gonna actually apply that filter to get them all. Let's say that I'm, I wanna look into the actual applications that I have not installed. So in the, in the app exchange, there are some apps with some rules and I don't, haven't installed them. I want you to actually sum the 835 I have in here. Uh, I want you to show me also the ones that I have not installed. Okay, and how how high that number of rule goes? 1,118. So that means that there are 283 additional rules that I could install. In fact, if I select this check mark also, it's going to only show me those that I have not installed. And we get those 283 and all of them are highlighted by that uh, yellow square which indicates that those are not installed in my system. There's one more thing that I want to show you on the log sources. So if you look here on the other tests, there are two conditions that are very interesting, which is in here, out of these rules, find me the one that works with log sources that I'm using. And I apply, you know, I can apply such filter. But also, let's wait until it comes back. And also you can say, well, show me log sources that curator has parsers or DSNs for but I'm not I'm not using you can actually apply that filter and out of the, my rules there are 207 that works with log sources that I have and also log sources I do not have so that filter is actually uh, pretty uh, unique as well 
So those are the filters. Uh, this with this, you should be able to find the needle in the haystack on your rules. It doesn't matter how many you keep on growing and adding. So this completes the overview of the powerful use case manager. We're going to move uh, into the miter components of this app next.